Hey guys, so I wanted to do a different type of video today. I wanted to do a little recap of my opinions of the season finale of The Bachelor. Um, excuse me, sorry. I have been watching The Bachelor for pretty much since it started and I'm a huge fan. I just absolutely love the show and I really enjoyed this Bachelor season with Juan Pablo. I have to say I was disappointed um, with the ending of the show. Um, really mostly because of the fact that I feel like he kind of shut down. For me, I felt like he shut down after Charlene left. I think he, I don't know, I just thought he was really into her and when she left. It just seemed like he kind of put his guard up. Like, I don't know if he was as into the other women as he was with Charlene. I'm not sure. Um, this is just my take on the show. Everybody obviously has their own opinion. This is just mine. Um... I didn't really like the way he talked um, to Claire and about her when she left. It was unfortunate to kind of see that side of him. Um, however, you know, I don't want to judge him either based on that one scenario. Like, to me, he seemed like a really good guy all along. It did seem a little funny that, like, you know, all these girls were kind of leaving at the end. Um, Andy as well, uh, you know, obviously they saw red flags in him that not everybody did, so, um, but I mean, again, at the end of the day, I don't know him personally, you know, so I can't really judge the guy, and I shouldn't judge him, because to be honest, what he does with his own life is really none of my business, regardless, but he is putting himself out there publicly. Um, on a show that we are all kind of invested in and we all, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think we want to see true love at the end of it, but that's not always realistic and not everybody falls in love and not everybody falls in love that quickly. Um, but I will say watching After the Final Rose, I think that I thought it was a little awkward the amount of times um, Chris Harrison asked if he was in love with Nikki. Like... You know, I think that once would have been good enough or twice would have been good enough. It just seemed like it kind of went on and on and caused more awkwardness than needed to be. And obviously the crowd was a little harsh on him. And I just feel like, you know what, when they were both sitting there together, they both did look happy. I mean, really, we don't know exactly how it is behind closed doors. But from what I could tell, they both seemed happy to me. And that's kind of all that matters. So really... I wish them both the best and, you know, hopefully they don't get criticized too, too much on social media because, you know, at the end of the day, I think that it's not okay for everybody to be really, really mean. I think, you know, keep your opinion to yourself if, it, if you have nothing nice to say. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. To wrap up my final thoughts on The Bachelor this season. I really enjoyed it. At the end, I was disappointed. I just felt like I wanted him to open up just a little bit more about his feelings. Like, even if he wasn't in love with her, kind of like what his plans are to see if it's going to work and that kind of thing. So, I guess time will tell and I'm, s I'm sure that it will be caught on some magazine at some point, whether they're still together or not. But, you know, hopefully... Hopefully they will be, and hopefully it'll all be happy. I get the feeling that things just kind of went sideways for Juan Pablo and The Bachelor, like, execs and producers. I think there must have been more to it than meets the eye, because it just seems a little strange that he kind of shut down so much at the end. So, I don't know. Those are just my thoughts, but... Anyway, let me know your thoughts and comments, and please write them below the description bar. And thanks for listening, guys. Have a great week. Bye.